Hello everyone and welcome to video 29 in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today I am going to show you how to export your track to upload to SoundCloud or possibly burn to a CD if you're going to do that. So let's get started. What I have in green is the mix we've been working with for the last two videos and that is what is going to finally become the master file, what everybody is going to finally hear. Below that, I have the normalized file in red. I'll explain what I'm doing and showing you for very shortly. But for the time being, focus on the mix. What I'm going to do is go up to File, Export Audio Video, and we are presented with this window. What I'm going to do now is talk you through each of the sections and explain what they are. Under the Data section, we have Rendered Track, what I want to render is the master because the audio is going to be processed through this signal chain and then finally become the master file. Below that we have normalize. This is the time when I move my window to the right hand side and show you this file. What normalization does is it finds the peaks and brings them up to 0 dB full scale. For example, you see that my limiter ceiling is now at minus 0.3 dB below full scale. If I were to normalize, what that would do is give the track an additional 3 tenths of a dB so that the peaks would hit 0 dB full scale. If you've never normalized before, I recommend you don't for a few reasons. The first is that you will hear the noise floor if the recordings were low or if there was other noise going on during the recording. If there was construction going on outside, if there was someone chatting outside your room, if there's any other low-level noise, that is going to be enhanced when you normalize. So I recommend you don't do it for that reason. The other part is, if I zoom in on this file, and I go to one of the peaks, we'll say here, you'll notice here that there's absolutely no headroom at all for this track to breathe. And you'll also notice that this peak is flattening out right here, which is something you don't want. You want the tracks to be as pointy and as smooth as possible. You don't want it to be flattening out at all because that means the dynamics are gone and there's nothing that can be changed at all. Once it's there, it is there. To reiterate, if you've never normalized, don't do it. And for most of the tracks I do, I generally don't normalize. We go back to the window and we have render as loop below normalize. Because of the fact that this is not going to be a loop, rather a full audio track, this is not going to be turned on. Below that we have convert to mono, which I will also leave off because this is a stereo file. Below this we have the audio section. Now we have the file type. It can be WAV or AIFF. Both are uncompressed audio formats. You can choose whichever one you'd like. Below that we have sample rate which I'm going to bounce down to 44.1 because we're converting to quote unquote CD quality. Below that we have bit depth, which I'm going to keep at 16 because that is also CD quality. Below that we have dither options. What dithering does is add low level noise to the file that you're going to export. What I can say and stress, do this only once. It's made when you're decreasing the sample rate and the bit depth because it minimizes the artifacts. I cannot stress it enough, dither only once. At no point should you dither the stems. Do not ever dither the mix, only dither the master. You'll notice that in Live 9, we have five types of dithering. Rectangular has a lower noise level, but more of a quantization error. Triangular is best for any additional processing you're going to do after bounce. POW R1 is for solo recordings because it has the flattest noise shaping curve. POW R2 is for busier mixes such as possibly a jazz band or a quartet. And POW R3 is for full mix downs, average home recordings, multi-tracking sessions, i.e. what most of us are doing. So this is most appropriate for 90% of the masters you are going to be working with. For this demonstration, since I only recorded a vocal and a guitar, this is considered a solo recording. 
so I'm going to select POW R1. The analysis file is also going to be left off. The video section I'm not going to discuss because no video was used for this master at all. I was working strictly with audio. The SoundCloud section is also a new addition to Live 9. What it allows you to do is simply upload your audio to SoundCloud by taking it on. And that is the f export audio video window. Once you've completed all of that, we press OK. And I'm going to call it Mementos Master. Select Desktop. Hang on. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Mementos Master, select Desktop, press Save, and the file is exporting. So now that the file is exported, I can go to my Finder, go to my Desktop, and we see here, Mementos Master. It's been exported properly and it's ready to be uploaded. So that concludes exporting your track. I hope this helps you and hopefully clears up some information about normalizing and dithering. Once more, take care and thank you very much for watching.